Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at how they get the M on M&Ms, and what does M&M actually stand for. The creation of an M&M starts with the chocolate concoction, which is then poured into small round molds to form the cores of the M&Ms. These chocolatey centers are then tumbled to create small circular surfaces, which are then covered with a colorful liquid coating. Once the exterior liquid has dried to form the hard shell, each candy piece ends up held in an indentation on a conveyor belt that whisks them away to be stamped with the signature M. The actual process for applying each M is similar to the offset printing process. So what is offset printing? Offset printing is widely used to produce high-quality images on a variety of materials such as paper, canvas, or in this case, candy. Essentially, this type of printing means that rather than having an image directly stamped onto a piece of material, the image is transferred or offset to an intermediate surface first. The first step in offset printing includes inking an original image onto metal plates. The image from the plates is then transferred to a rubber cylinder known as a blanket. This acts as an intermediary between the metal plates and the final printing surface. The final step includes offsetting the original image from the blanket to the desired printing surface. This intermediary rubber blanket is particularly needed in the case of M&Ms, which are relatively fragile and rounded. By careful design and calibration of the press, the rubber blanket only presses against the candy just enough to transfer the M without damaging the outer shell of the M&M. This printing method also significantly reduces the wear on the master metal plates, so they last much longer. This is good considering, on average, around 2.5 million M&Ms are branded with an M each hour. Of course, with this type of volume, it is nearly impossible to ensure each candy piece is shaped perfectly, particularly with peanut M&Ms, which are not particularly uniform. As a result, despite careful calibration, some M&Ms do make it through the production process without an M. However, these are not considered rejects by any means. Rather than risk cracking the hard outer shell, the printing machine is designed to let overly misshapen M&Ms pass through without being stamped. In other words, the lack of an M on an M&M candy is totally intentional. Waste not, want not, and all that. Incidentally, if you've ever wondered what the M's stand for in the name M&M's, in 1941, Forrest Mars, senior of the Mars Candy Company, struck a deal with Bruce Murray, son of famed Hershey president William Murray, to develop a hard-shelled candy with chocolate at the center. Mars needed Hershey's chocolate because he anticipated there would be a chocolate shortage in the pending war, which turned out to be correct. The deal gave Murray a 20% stake in the newly developed M&M. This stake was later bought out by Mars when chocolate rationing ended at the end of World War II. The name thus stood for Mars and Murray, the co-creators of the candy. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do give us a like below and do subscribe. Also, if you like this video, check out two of my other channels. One at the top there is uh, Top Tens Net, which is a list countdown channel. In the video there, we're looking at the 10 dumbest things that Donald Trump has said. And below that, we've got my personal vlog channel. So if you're interested in a look behind the scenes at the life of a YouTube creator, check that out. And thank you for watching.